Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen this series before, what I do is every Wednesday I go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Mood's Instagram page and I decide if I'm adding anything to my wishlist or if I think everything's a total washout. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this weekly series and if you haven't already and you'd like to, I hope you consider subscribing and hitting a little bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday. So it's like 6 a.m. I'm exhausted. I haven't slept well the last couple of days. I don't know what's going on. But on the bright side, I did pick a winner for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Congratulations to Brianna. She won the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. I've already gotten it and it's on the way to Brianna. So congrats. I really hope you like the palette. And thank you for everyone for entering. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I really want to do another giveaway. Hopefully the next time it's like a bigger milestone and I can afford to do more of like an international giveaway. I would love to do that. Okay, so we learned a little bit more about the new Hourglass palette. Palette, it turns out that every shade in the new palette is a new shade so I'm not quite sure if all the shades are going to work for me but this is definitely a palette I still want to pick up especially since I haven't been able to get any of the holiday palettes from Hourglass I'm really looking forward to this one and I cannot wait to pick it up but just so if you're interested too it seems like every shade is new Natasha Denona has come out with some new liquid lipsticks and honestly they don't look revolutionary and I'm sure they're expensive. How much are they? $25. Uh, I'm gonna pass. I have plenty of liquid lipsticks. I'm actually after this about to film like my mini lipstick collection which will hopefully go up either this week or next week but I've got a lot and I really don't need any more especially at that price point so I am going to pass on that. Am I the only one that's just really confused as to why like designer sunglasses collabs are a thing. Especially that Trend Mood's like reporting on them. Like it looks like it's with Desi Perkins I guess, but what's the point of a... I mean I personally never spend a lot of money on sunglasses because I use them a lot. They tend to get scratched. I tend to just throw them in my purse. It's just not something I ever really care to spend a lot of money on. There are other things I'd rather spend more money on. And I don't get why they're being advertised. Like like everything else in Trend Mood's like stream is makeup and then we just have random sunglasses and they're expensive. I, I don't I really don't get it. What's what's the point? So apparently Kylie Cosmetics is gonna come to Ulta. Whoa. I mean that's gonna be really good for people that I've been like afraid to try Kylie because of that return policy because I'm sure you'll be able to return them to Ulta. So I think this is gonna be good. It's probably good for her brand. It's gonna be good for people that actually want to try it out and you'd be able to use like points. I'm sure coupons aren't gonna apply but you could definitely use points. I think this is gonna be really good. I'm interested. I, I don't think they're gonna put like all products on Ulta so I'd be interested to see exactly like what products are going to be held at Ulta and if they're gonna be available in store or like online only. So e.l.f. is coming out with a new larger palette called the Opposites Attract palette. I mean it's a good price point. $14 you get 18 shades. I'm just not really attracted to these colors. The story just looks a bit jumbled to me. It could just be a mad picture but overall it's not really calling to me, so I'm probably gonna pass on this one. Okay, so new products from Fenty. I know a lot of people were disappointed by this new gloss balm, but I think it could look really cute. I'd be really interested to try it out. I do like the original gloss balm. I haven't been really wearing glossy lips as much this summer, but I know once we hit like winter, I'm gonna be all about the gloss. So I definitely want to try that one out. Not sure about that highlighter. I do have her white highlighter and it's just okay. Like I definitely like the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo better with just like more of a nudie kind of glow to it. I'll throw a picture up right here. But the white highlighter, it's, it's not that as good as her other highlighters. So I would probably skip on the highlighter and just try the gloss balm. Juvia's Place is going to be coming out with a foundation. This is really, really exciting. I really want to find out like what the formula is going to be and whether it's going to be like a matte finish, a demi matte, a dewy, but I'd be interested to try it out. I really hope they have um, like a good guide to the shades on their website because I know it's going to be a large shade range. They said 
from the darkest complexions to very light pale complexions. So they're really going to be catering to everybody here. So I would definitely be interested in trying this out. Not sure when it comes out though. When do you come out? It just is coming soon. So I'm, I'm sure we'll hear more about it. So this is something that looks absolutely adorable like for the packaging. And then once you open it up, you're just like, what? This is the new Clover collection items from Too Faced, that eyeshadow palette. Like, look at that packaging. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. But then you open it up and look at just... Like, I get it's supposed to look like Clover, so you're like, okay, so you got like the brown and like pink for the ear, but like, what is supposed to make me want this other than the packaging? Nothing, nothing. That's the answer, so no. Can I go ahead and call bullshit on this? Let me just read you the description, okay? A palette with hashtag good vibes. Like that's already cringe, right there. It's the Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone Palette by Aether Beauty Co. I've never heard of this brand. And this palette is $58, okay? So keep that in mind as we continue. 12 shades formulated with organic coconut oil and organic shea butter to create an uber smooth buttery texture infused with organic rosehip oil which provides radiant looking skin. Rose quartz powder helps reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and redness while illuminating the skin with its light reflective crystals. Is this palette also gonna make me look 10 years younger? Do my makeup for me? Like, pay rent? That is some of the most bullshit advertising I've ever heard. An eyeshadow palette isn't going to get rid of your fine lines and wrinkles. It's, no, I can't believe they're even trying this. Like, and look how boring the palette is. It's not even an interesting palette. I seriously, when I first read that, I did the biggest eye roll in the history of eye rolls. <laughs> okay, and I think we're gonna leave it at that for this week. I think there were quite a few misses. Not a whole lot I'm excited about, but let me know down below as always what you think about this week's new products. If I miss anything that you want to hear my thoughts on, just leave a comment and I'll respond and let you know down below or I'll mention it next week. As always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.